I was so sure it was going to go wrong. We were going to blow this house up to smithereens and something would go wrong and we'd have to build a new house. When it exploded, the, the terror that myself and, and Sarah Green were it was, genu was genuine. I was um, in art college in Dublin and um, the director, Jim Sheridan, approached me to audition for um, a film he was making with Richard Harris called The Field which I didn't get at all. You know, I went, I did the audition. It was my first ever audition. That was the acting thing. I, I, I think with writing, that was more of a, a slow burn. I think initially I started writing to get a decent part. There wasn't a huge amount of female writers around. So if I could be so bold as to say there wasn't a huge amount of great female parts, you know, they were sort of more kind of girlfriends and wives and weren't really the sort of protagonists or the main protagonists or if they were it was really rare and that's kind of what spurred me on and and I think it was when I I, I made it wrote a sitcom with Dennis Kelly who wrote um, Utopia and Matilda the musical we got our break writing um, a sitcom called Pulling I don't know how we got that sitcom because we'd never written anything before it was you know myself and my best friend making a show exactly how we wanted to make it. It took a long time for me to find my next thing, which was Catastrophe and lucky enough to meet Rob Delaney. That gave me the bug to write something that I really cared about and not sort of write for the sake of it or to order, but to write because I really believed in that idea and those characters. Do you like it? Can I grab my ass over? I know you don't think he's a good man. Families, they're complex. I'm warning you. She doesn't respect you because you're weak. She wasn't always like that. He's sucking the life out of her. Well, we'll just have to wait till he dies of cancer or something. Why not give nature a helping hand? <laughs> we all decided that we loved that um, original series, Clan, written by Sarah Malengozen, but it totally just didn't feel like we didn't want to tell the story in that way. So we, uh, you know, in our, our series has a, a lot less murder attempts, a lot less dead bodies. We still knew that we had to 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 build it. You know, we start off and, and he's a, clearly a terrible human, but we had to keep an audience with us for 10 episodes and, and keep them wanting the same outcome, choosing to tell it um, episode by episode through um, a specific sister was a big sort of um, breakthrough, I guess, you know, because you understand why that sister wants him dead outside of, you know, what it means to them um, personally. You know, it was a learning process for all of us because none of us had, had written um, Thriller before. I'd worked with Sarah Green on Frank of Ireland. I had made a one-off um, show called The Circuit with Eva Brethistle. So I knew they were both brilliant. Amory Duff, I hadn't worked with before, but I was a huge fan. And Eve Hewson, I was obsessed with from her first audition. And obviously she's a young person. <laughs> So she was always going to be um, baby Becca and the rest were a little bit of, um, you know, who should play who. And then it just sort of all fell into place. And then once we'd worked that out, we went to Anne-Marie and, and offered her grace. And, you know, thank God she said yes. terrified it was all going to go wrong and the guys who we'd employed to do the explosion they were so laid back they were just like walking along they were taking their sweet time and we were like I was sweating um buckets because I was so sure it was going to go wrong we were going to blow this house up to smithereens and something would go wrong and we'd have to build a new house when it exploded the the terror that myself and, and Sarah Green were it was genu was genuine It was just 
being there for the rehearsal of it and, and actually discussing if there was like superfluous dialogue and, you know, taking little snips out and working out the 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 last sort of throes of the death, I suppose, because she's a slight woman. So all of those things you had to take into account because you, an audience, I wanted them to really feel and believe, you know, that there were a few things on her side, like, I don't know gravity and the weight of him when he hit the ground. We had to have someone who was funny and terrifying. He's a physically very funny um, performer a, a, as well. And I would like to say a lot of it, you know, dialogue wise was on the page, but what he brought, I think, was just an enormous amount of skill. He had to be a monster and he had to be despicable. And by the last episode, you see the, the full extent of the the horror of, of that character. but. Leading up to that, you have to love to hate him. So you have to, he has to be able to make you laugh. It would have been re relentless without, it would have been a hard watch. There's no evidence we should be looking for fraud. Murder is fraud and there's a life policy to pay out. It's not happening. It was one moment of madness. Two moments of madness. You're vile. Do you know that? I'm on a Just explode a man. He thinks someone's trying to kill him. That's insane. The joy, you know, of those sisters when they're together, sort of despite everything, you really feel the love and, and the joy that they have when, they, when they're together and representing um, a woman on screen who's been through something like that, but still, you know, represents like hope, you know. I really relished playing that. I just don't think women like that are shown on screen that often. A woman of that age who, you know, hasn't gone the traditional route in her life, doesn't have a partner, is childless. And that may not be what she would have chosen for herself, you know, but she still, you know, has hope in her life. Playing a character who puts other people first. It was fun for me, but it was also good for my daughters to see me play someone who wasn't like, you know, a piece of work.